Guys, I'm back in the F-22 Raptor A today. I'm gonna do a long range patrol. We're over South America. We do cut through some mountains. We're just gonna have fun. I picked up a radar signal about 100 miles out. We'll go check that out. At the end of the day, if someone gets out of line, we'll put them back in it. I do have an SU-57 stealth video I'm going to release maybe today or tomorrow, but let's enjoy this F-22 Raptor A. It's absolutely my favorite jet in the game. I do some light maneuvering. The thrust vectoring is incredible. I'll try to demonstrate that here the best I can, but this is not reality, or at least I'm not, not able to pull off exactly what I see those pilots pulling off in real life, but, but we're pretty lethal, okay, so don't be getting out of line. Look at the detail on that air, just cutting over the shoulders, the wings trailing. The things you can do in this F-22 Raptor, they feel abnormal for a jet. And I know it's expensive, but I'm telling you, you will know where the money went. There's something about this thing, even at 50,000 feet, is very stable, very maneuverable. It is absolutely a stealth to the T. It just goes straight. You can be upside down, normal, doesn't matter. I mean, you try to do these things in virtually any other jet in the game, you're going to stall out. I will say that F-18 is ridiculously mobile, and you could get away with some things if, as long as you hit the jets quick enough, but you can get away with a lot more in this. The thrust vectoring allows for some ridiculous movement, range in your movement. South America. I'm gonna have to fly here more. There's absolutely a ton to see. Gorgeous lands. I got my radar radar screen switched out where when I'm getting to low altitudes it goes red on you like you're seeing there. Just detailed. This cockpit is so realistic. There's a couple buttons I'm not legally allowed to talk about. The government contacted me on it. Seeing America's top first class fifth generation fighter plane. We sell our F-22, but we don't sell this one. That's all I can say. There's some top secret stuff in here. I know, I know what we're doing. Look at this. Just get your credit card out, make it happen. You're missing out. Time's money. Remember, it's more like a 10-year purchase. Spending 30 or $40 on a plane to enjoy it for that long, I mean, that's easy money. That's money well spent. I've bought probably too much in this. I know I have, when I re-downloaded the game, I had over 500 items to download. Tons of cities that I spent 15 to $20 on. To me, it's an entire world here, and I, I mean, look at that cockpit. Oh, but it's just an entire world here, and, and the more you spend on it, the more realistic it becomes, and, and compared to some people's games, when I get in this one, I do get lost in it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The planes add to that, the scenery is just amazing what they've done with the Google Earth imagery. I mean, again, you do have to have a high-end PC to see what I'm seeing. But if you're gaming, there's payment plans out there. If you don't have two or 3000 to fork out right away, I'm not going to lie to you. My PC I bought on payments. 24 payments at about $122 a month. Zero interest. Total price is around $2,950. 24 payments, so you know you gotta apply for that. Yada yada. Look at the cross platform. Come on. The 
G's I'm pulling on these adjustments. Not too much, probably five, six G's on some of those, but I really don't know what I'm talking about, so who cares, right? Listen out. You're not a pilot anymore. Go out, get simulator. Just fly right beside each other. Whoever you are out there, contact me. We'll we'll make it happen. Have a good day.